Hello you and welcome to another video. Here is a uh, part two of the tutorial I posted yesterday. Unity, uh, simple platformer. And uh, you can see that we have a couple of problems, all right, with the collisions. So, uh, so let's go ahead and let's fix that. All right, so let's uh, get started and let's begin by removing the uh, main camera from, uh, from Supercube, which is our main character. And uh, we're going to control the camera using this script here, which you can find under the description below. All right, let's return to uh, Unity and let's create a new C Sharp script. Let's call it Lecam, or you can call it whatever you want. Let's open uh, Mono Develop. All right, and I'm going to select all and I'm going to paste uh, the script. Let's return to Unity. And um, when you click on the uh, script again, you're going to notice that we have a new um, variable to fill out. All right. Let's um, attach the script to the camera. Add component, scripts, lecam. All right. But if you run this right now, uh, you'll notice that nothing happens. All right. Actually, you get an error message. And the reason is that it's because we having assigned um, a player to the cam. All right. Let's um, assign the cube. And now our script is going to follow um, our cube. And uh, if we fall, we're going to respawn. And this time the camera is going to follow us all the way to the beginning, which looks kind of cool. All right, so here is a small problem we have uh, with the collisions. And if you try to jump too close to the walls, you get stuck. All right, so let's uh, fix that. All right, so let's open this uh, script, which you can find under the description below. Let's open the player. And uh, we're going to paste this over here. All right. These are two uh, Boolean expressions. Let's bring out the rest. Let's copy it and paste it here. And uh, what this does is um, calculates the distance uh, between the wall and the player. Let's implement it with an if statement. If um, wall right. So basically, if we are not too close to the wall, um, this line of code is going to work. And uh, make sure that you close this with um, squiggly brackets. Okay, so I'm going to run this. And uh, you can see that uh, that kind of works already kind of trips that a little bit there and uh, that is because his constraints are frozen so let's um, fix that and uh, since uh, we don't have uh, we are not carrying the camera anymore so we are going to freeze only Z right for his position and for his rotation we're going to freeze um, X and Y let's try this out see that this works a lot better now except for this side so let's uh, go ahead and let's fix that and uh, we're going to do the same thing uh, for the left direction I'm going to switch this for left and uh, we need a new uh, squiggly bracket to so close this and you can see that this works not too bad all right so now that everything works fine let's um edit 
this level I'm pressing um, E to rotate um, objects uh, let me just uh, make a quick level here I'm going to make a, a couple of uh, uh, towers all right so that doesn't look too bad um, let's uh, try this out whoa I couldn't jump that time whoa I couldn't make it that time that's a little too far away so let's uh, make this a little closer clone this let's run this again and uh, wow this is pretty steep let's jump okay going down and let's jump whoa I think uh, I thought I was gonna fall that time Oh, and I did this time. Son of a gun! This is what happens. I make uh, my levels a little too difficult. You gotta make uh, level one super easy. Yay, and we made it. Alright, thanks for watching.